Masks are now mandatory in indoor public spaces, on the TTC, and they're even required in common areas of condos. And many are looking to up their protection by using filters in their masks. But are they necessary and more importantly effective? Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health explains. We're not recommending filters per se, no, not at all. Like I think what we're recommending is a cloth mask with two layers or more. Um, interestingly, if you had made a cloth mask with 12 layers, it would be as good as a surgical mask. So, I mean, the added layers uh, help uh, with added protection. So a filter is a piece of paper that you could put within the mask. It actually adds another layer. And so most cloth masks are, say, two layers. If you put a piece of paper like a filter, it would make it a three-layer cloth mask, which could, pr could provide uh, added protection. If it's difficult for you to, to breathe with that filter, I would not um, use it then. And there's no one recommendation for one kind of filter over another. Whatever, if you do use a filter, make sure that it is breathable. Um, and same with the, the material that you use for the cloth mask, that it is breathable material. There are masks that have an expiration valve. And they're being said to be masks that are easier to tolerate. But I want our, our um, viewers to know that those masks actually are not protective. Um, they do not keep your germs to yourself because they have a valve. It's essentially a hole. So when you breathe out, your air can go out through that hole. And right. you can release your respiratory droplets into the air to others. But what about if you put a filter in one of those masks? The filter will not be strong enough to uh, get rid of the droplets. It might be able to filter dust particles, for example, but some small droplets will still be able to escape from the filter. And so you're still better having two layers um, rather than a filter. And that's why we're not recommending those. In this week's Ask Me Anything session, Dr. Vinita Dubey also addressed several concerns about sending kids back to school as well as safety while dining indoors in restaurants. For the full chat, you can go to our websites citynews.ca and 680news.com. Point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now and a link will pop up to take you directly to that article. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.